Welcome to the video from thedigitallifestyle.com. Time for another build video. This is Windows 10 inside the build 14366 for PCs and 14364 was released for phones and I've got a separate video available of that. In fact we've got videos going right back to the very first Windows 10 builds so if you want to go on our YouTube channel you'll see all of that stuff or, or go on digitallifestyle.com. So what's new on this build? Not a huge amount as Microsoft focus on bug fixes really to close off this anniversary update of Windows 10 and uh, get that ready to be released but there is a new extension available from the store and that's uh, this Microsoft um, Office Online one if I click on there you'll see I've already signed in here here you can see my notebook uh, some documents I've been working on and um, here's a blog post that I, I was working on recently so I can click on there or I could create a new one and it uses the um, Office Online to open the document and it's getting it from my OneDrive account and uh, I can now use the, the web version of Office as an extension so it kind of makes it more like an app rather than uh, a separate just a web page so you've got these options of you can select new and create new documents or create a new word document or a new sway or a new excel document and that's using an extension and uh, you'll find that in the store in the windows store and you can do it yourself you go through extensions on here and you can find that so that's new also changed is the Windows Store and Microsoft say this has improved speed and performance and, and reliability uh, and prevents from crashing and I've noticed if I just pick on an app here in the previous build uh, you can look back on the videos to see that you had there was a big section about what it was compatible with uh, but on this that seems to have been pushed down here much more like the original store in fact I would say this in fact looks just like the original but there's no screenshots either so I think this is a bit of a step backwards um, I put, the old store with screenshots was okay the one with the previous one was a bit cluttered with the navigation information oh there it goes just crashed um, but I'm not sure that this is an improvement at all really no screenshots You've got plenty of reviews. If you don't even can't even see what it looks like, and it it doesn't say what uh, version of Windows you need, like the previous version does. So this seems to seem very odd compared to the previous release. Okay, what else has changed? Well, you've now got um, it's now fixed for the French version of Windows 10 for insiders, so that's a good thing. Um, Navigation to the private settings of the app no longer crashes. The fixed issue causing the PC and mobile devices via Project PC not to work. I've tested this and this does seem to be improved. So what this means, this is the uh, Miracast function. So you go to the Connect app. So I can connect here from my phone. And see it's about to project and there we go. So that is my Lumia 950XL working there. You can see me moving the, the mouse about. That's much quicker to connect and works almost every time now as opposed to the previous version where it was a bit hit and miss. Okay, what else has been changed? Uh, they've fixed the issue at the start would not launch, launch while um, app is insta installing languages. They've updated the Windows Ink icon down here um, yeah it looks a bit different it, they've said it made it more in line with these icons Cortana still does the same thing where you click on it and it now shows you the interests but only when you click on there now, it, sometimes I was seeing if you launched it from here it would jump straight to it yes it, there it does so there's those two ways of, of launching it now on the start menu the most used um, is uh, the, the newly added appears above the most used. We've not got anything new added. If it did, that would be appear there. And they've also fixed an issue with reminders that um, Cortana reminders. 
that would, wouldn't, wouldn't save, which I think we saw that in the previous build, and that's fixed now. So those are most of the changes. There's a, a lot more individual uh, fixes that you can look at in our um, release notes on the diesellifestyle.com. What are the known issues on this one? Not many, actually. The desktop converter app for Project Centennial will fail to run on this build. Um, if you click on a file download link outside of Microsoft Edge, sometimes Edge will open a tab and close without doing anything. you better to do save or save as, and Narrator doesn't always launch. So aside from that, not many known issues on there. Um, I don't like the changes to the store. It looks like it's, I mean, what icon is that supposed to be? Cancel the installation. Okay, it used to be the download button. Um, I'm not, I must admit, I'm not keen on this. I must I'm not admit, I'm not keen on the way that the store looks at all in this one. It's just back to how it used to be. Um, hopefully they'll bring back some of those features, the screenshots and the um, various platforms that supported it as well but perhaps that was just a technical thing while they're on while they're on the preview I suppose an end user just needs to know they need the latest version of Windows and it'll work but I still would like to see a screenshot so those are all the changes like I said earlier you can go back and look right back at the earliest builds of Windows 10 on our YouTube channel this build is definitely about bug fixes and Microsoft are, have got four insiders tasks or quests to help them fix bugs before this goes out to the public uh, more details on our on our channel on YouTube, on the and at iStixon on Twitter. Thanks for watching.